Welcome back. It's time to do this ridiculous puzzle. I actually don't know what time it is in game. Oh, I think I have until 11 p.m. and then I have to go to bed in the game, not in real life. It's 1 p.m. for me right now. <laughs> Thank you for the welcome backs. Mm. Pictures are in wrong order. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Okay, so let's see. Each column contains only one of the following. Megan, third spot, Boston, New York, art and math. What does that mean? Contains third spot. Does that mean Megan is the third spot? <laughs> Nancy Drew fans pick up a novel and be like, yo, this gameplay is fire. Listen, I'm trying to enlarge in my brain a little bit. Corinne is immediately after the girl who chose bio, but somewhere before Izzy. So, Corinne, um, immediately after the girl who chose bio. So that's, wait, Izzy doesn't have bio? I thought Izzy was the one with bio. Okay, so not bio. Do not place roommates side by side. Okay. Um, Mel used to spend her summers visiting Leela's RI home. Girl who enjoys English is from Boston and is immediately before the girl who loves history but somewhere after. The one who picked math. Choose to smooth the wrinkles, no thoughts, only smooth. Put Izzy and Mel as far apart as possible. And then, so maybe, hmm. And then Megan can't be with a roommate. Pfft, I don't know. Um, Megan's from Concord and loves history. Okay, Megan. So they just gave me her answers, which is fair. And loves history. Okay, I'm gonna write hers down so I don't forget. Megan Concord history. Okay. Um, Leela has, an, has a Rhode Island home. Oh, that's Le oh wait. Yes, Leela. Um, the girl who enjoys English is from Boston. <clears throat> Rachel, who loves math, is from Pittsburgh. Okay. Math, Pittsburgh, Rachel. And then this is Izzy. This is Mel. Um, the biology and psych students are roommates. So then Leela has biology and Izzy has psych. <laughs> what is just dance? Never heard of it. <laughs> Never heard of it. I think we're getting new teasers tomorrow. I'm very excited. Um, the girl who enjoys English is from Boston and is immediately before the girl who loves history. After, and But somewhere after the one who picked math. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god. How did I do this before when we were doing the shapes and the colors thing? Corinne is after the girl who chose bio, immediately after the girl who chose bio, but somewhere before Izzy. What happens if I do this? Oh, it just swaps them. Okay, that's easy. Um, the girl who enjoys English is from Boston and is immediately before the girl who loves history. So maybe, 
I'm so confused on if Mel, because it says don't place roommates side by side, but she's technically not here anymore. How am I supposed to enjoy a game if there's no shooty? Oh, don't worry. They'll give Nancy a gun. <clears throat> don't you worry. Um... <clears throat> I don't know where they're all from. Corinne is immediately after the girl who chose bio, but somewhere before Izzy. Megan's from Concord and loves history. Mel used to spend summers visiting Leela's RI home. Mm. The girl who enjoys English is from Boston and is immediately before the girl who loves history, but somewhere after the one who picked math. So maybe we just move them down the line. Mm. So immediately before the girl who loves history, but somewhere after the one who big math. Oh, but somewhere after. <laughs> so English. Boston. Biology and psych students are roommates. I don't know where they're from. <laughs> I don't know where they're from. <clears throat> I probably shouldn't put these up. Oh, but if I back out, then it tells me what I did wrong, right? Let me... There, all done. Hopefully, Rachel will agree. Let's see if that works. Do I have to go all the way up to her room? I'm tired. <laughs> Hi, Rodrigo. How you doing? I'm having a good day. I found a new pet store that has, like, healthier food for cats, so I think I'm gonna... You can come in. ...see if they have something yummy. Afraid you're not done. Check out my note online. <sighs> Why did I have to walk all the way up here? Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. There is a Nancy Drew game. Or, uh... Sorry. There is a Nancy Drew CW show. And it's slutty. I love it. I've only seen the first episode, but I loved it. Pictures are in wrong order. Fuck. <laughs> what about the information, though? Okay. <sighs> Each column contains only one of the following. Megan, third spot. Boston. So is Megan in the third spot? I feel like that means she is. So I'm just going to put her there. Um, put Izzy and Mel as far apart as possible. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand what this means. <laughs> Each column contains only one of the following. Megan, third spot. Boston, New York, art and math. So she wouldn't be third spot. All of those are different columns. Okay, so, oh God, who went where? I don't even remember. <clears throat> so the third spot won't have any of these. Boston, New York, art and math. So she shouldn't fucking be here. Rachel, you need to leave. Uh, I think putting two cities is kind of silly because it's like each column only has one of these and it's like, yeah, duh, because we can only put one location. Boston, New York. So Leela could be in the third spot. Corinne is immediately after the girl who chose bio. Oh, she is. But somewhere before Izzy, she is. Do not place roommates side by side. They're not. Megan's from Concord and loves history. Okay. 
Mel used to spend summers visiting Leela's R.I. home. Okay. The girl who enjoys English is from Boston. And is immediately before the girl who loves history. <gasps> but somewhere after the girl who picked math. Oh! The biology and psych students are roommates. Yes. Rachel who loves math is from Pittsburgh. <gasps> that looks right to me. Let's try it. Oh my god. Did I just girl boss my way through this puzzle? She said that looks right to me. I think that's a good sign. I'm here. Becca, nice job on the layout. Thank no you. No way. What's next? <laughs> next, I need you to take a few more pictures. Here's wow. a list. They're all things that are special to Waverly Academy somehow. Iconic, I guess you'd say. They can all be found on the school grounds. Am I getting paid the only for one this that might work? Be a little problematic is the picture of Rita Hollowell and her cat. She was one of Waverly's founding teachers. There's a couple of references to the picture in the school records, but it hasn't been seen in eons. But if you can it's find for it, and I can get a photo of that photo up on the website, it would be such it's an incredible clue that it might even put me back in the running for valedictorian. Oh my god, good for I'll you! Give it my best shot. Upload them like well, before. that must be I'll so nice for you, Rachel. Up, and if I see any problems, I'll leave a note for you on the page. Come back to me when you're done. So we're going to share our valedictorian speech, right? I'll go so you can get back to work. Right? See ya. Since I'm doing all your work for you, Rachel? Huh, Rachel? Oh, God. That's not very nice. But then gossip seldom is. <laughs> Here we go. New girls lost her luggage on the way from France. XOXO, Jacob Biden. <laughs> He's got nothing better to do. I'm not sure what crime has been committed, but I think Rachel did it. You're, we're all on the same page then. She for sure did it. What's up, Rumi? Any idea where that book that's missing from the library is? Why? Are you an Edgar Allan Poe fan? I'd like to find it so I can earn some extra credits. You and me both. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue who has it. Hmm. Any idea why it would be missing? Somebody must have wanted that book and not wanted anyone to know they wanted it. That's all I can figure. Did it go missing before or after notes from the black cat started showing up? Before. Right before, in fact. I see what you're getting at. Mm. It was called the black cat, wasn't it? That's kind of freaky. I bugged you enough. I feel like See she's ya. acting. Suit yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Something's off. Um, should I finally just call Ned? Cause you know, you know, Ned is just waiting by the phone. He's been waiting by the phone all day. He's got nothing better to do. Sad. Hey, hey. Hi. You at the school? I sure am. So how's it going? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get a snack before we start this conversation. <laughs> Hold on, I have some chips I wanna eat. Hi, kitty. I love you. These conversations with Ned are so drawn out <laughs> because he really is just bored and wants someone to talk to. So I might as well get a snack while we listen to him ask me five million questions. Great. The girls I met so far are bright and interesting and seem to like me. Of course they like you. I hope so because I can tell already that where you fit in socially around here is huge. They got a pecking order going, huh? And it is brutal. Like junior high on steroids. <laughs> Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Be myself? Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. I'm a liar by they trade. Get of that. Like I said, just lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. What about the case? Any luck tracking down the source of those mysterious notes? They're being sent by someone who signs them as the Black Cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. Think someone there has a grudge against brainy kids? Or one of the brainy kids is trying to get rid of her competition. Being valedictorian, is that big a deal? It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. But how smart can these kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? 
It's midterm study break. The kids who chose to stay at the school are cramming for tests and madly writing papers. The notes may be silly, but they're still distracting. And some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. Malicious, huh? You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? No, I'm not. Good. Although I am living on the same floor as they are. You just had to throw that in, didn't you? Sorry. So what is your plan? I'm gonna search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. Right. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Ned is her boyfriend. I've met all the valedictorian candidates. Cool. Tell me about them. Kareen, the girl I'm rooming with, she's not exactly Miss Popularity. What makes you say that? So far, I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her. That's not good. At this school? It's a disaster. Keep going. Who else? Believe it or not, there's a goth living in the room next a to me. A goth? A goth? As in weird hair and disturbing <laughs> body piercings? At an exclusive East You'll Coast? You'll never guess who's party? living next to me. She's a, a legacy. Goth. Meaning the women in her family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She doesn't have a lot of friends. Oh, frick, yeah, Doesn't dude. seem to. My favorite she type of woman. Cats. Don't know that yet. Maybe I'm a sucker for obvious suspects, but it sounds to me like... Zena, thank you for 43 out. months. Keep going. Who thank else? you so much. Don't you have anything better to do, Ned? Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Is she nice? She is to me, so far. But that's probably because I'm still new to the pecking order. She's at the front of it? Oh, yeah. She rules the roost around here, that's for sure. But she's not without enemies. Roost rulers seldom are. Especially when they steal their classmate's boyfriend. Now that's just asking for trouble. Keep going. Who else? Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete. And man, is she competitive. Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. She's desperate. <laughs> Yep. Shouldn't she be studying like everyone else? Says she's got everything under control. Academically, at least. Socially, her roommate Izzy just stole her boyfriend. Yikes. So what's she going to do about it? Right now? Nothing. She's going to let Izzy stew for a while and worry about what she's going to do about it. Ooh, this Izzy person could be in for it big time. Keep going. Who else? Oh, Rachel. I met the devil. This girl named Rachel asked me to help her with a school project. How'd you get out of that? I didn't. I told her I'd help her. And actually, it's a good thing. Gives me an excuse to go poking around, talking to people. So what's this Rachel person like? Well, no one around here seems <laughs> to like her very much. How come? How much time do you have? B.O., poor taste in shoes. All of She's the above. She's just strange somehow. Kind of absent-minded. She scares some kids. And she seems to keep to herself. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. All the seniors here get assigned weekly work-study jobs. Guess what mine is? Cleaning erasers. No. Collecting milk money. No. Sharpening pencils. Snack shop boss. Snack shop boss? I have to stand behind the counter in the rec room and fill kids' snack orders. If I don't do it at least once a day, I get demerits. If I fill a lot of orders in one day, I get credits. Sound excited. I am excited. I like earning credits. I, I like also like listening in on points. everybody's conversations while I fill their orders. Ah. He's checked out. He's barely said five words. All he said is, wow. Mmm. Wild. The school administration has accused That's Mel crazy. of plagiarizing a paper. So even Waverly girls cheat, huh? Actually, Mel swears up and down she's innocent. Yeah, I think I do. She wow. seemed really, really upset. Maybe she's just a good actress. I hope not, because I told her I'd help her try to clear her name. You're getting a little off task, don't you think? Yes. Not at all. This gives me an excuse to snoop around. And you can never have too many of those, can you? That's it for now. Stay out of trouble. I'll try, but you know me. Bye. Did not even ask once how Ned is doing. Not even once. Simply not interested, to be honest. <laughs> Simply don't care. Mm. Did that. 
What else haven't Can't I done? check that off yet. Did that. You. Haven't done that. Still have to do that. Oh, paper trail. Check. That's right. I have to do Did that. Did that. Paper trail that edu under resources try to track down to the person who posted the paper. Okay, I can do that. Although I think, mm, can I go to bed? Cause I don't want to get more demerits. Why did you attack? Oh, you get one credit for enhancing the school website. Thanks, Paige. Can I just go to bed? Oh, I can't just go to bed. I wonder if they force you to go to bed. Okay, well, I'm not going to bed. <laughs> what are you doing? I got them a replacement toy because they have this, they have this toy, no bed. They have this toy that's like a foundation and then this like wire that springs up with like feathers on the end or whatever. But they destroy these things so fast and I got them a replacement and they're like stoked about it. They're very happy. They are thriving. Um, what'd you get? I thought I had like fully looked at everything here, but I guess not. It said examine everything in the foyer and I thought I did that. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the library. God, it's so fucking loud. Keep it down. Um, how do I do this? Go to papertrail.edu under resources and try to track down the person who posted the paper. Okay. Uh, boing. Resources? Where? I don't see it anywhere. What is it? <laughs> There's links on the left. I know I'm looking at the links. But none of these say resources. Oh, there we go. I found it. Never mind. Hee <laughs> hee. I was testing you all. <laughs> That's all I got. So I think it's this one. 683291. Uh, 683291. <gasps> Huh? Oh, I have to guess? Okay, I see, I see, I see. This is easy. This is nothing. This is nothing, this is easy. <laughs> um. Hmm. Um. I messed it up. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of threes. <clears throat> um, we are hacking, <laughs> by the way. <clears throat> it's time to dox someone at this school. The time is now. What if I just use the small numbers? Because then none of them will repeat, right? Mm, no, just kidding. <laughs> oh, wait, what about that? No, <laughs> but they don't match. They don't match though. Yeah, please no spoilers, please. Um, they all have like ones in them. Mm. 
Hmm. No. I mean, I did technically pick one that didn't all have the same numbers, so. Just saying, I should have won. Quoted reference numbers that should ultimately help me find the paper the passages came from. Um, there's no, there's nothing here from Mel. I think they did say, no numbers can repeat. One, eight, two, five, seven, forty six, three. Mm. I don't know what else it could be. I'm confused. I'm confused. And it can't be any of these because these are just source numbers. Hmm. Uh, this one looks like... <clears throat> oh no, never mind. I was gonna say some look like they have more odd numbers, but no. If it does start with 69, I ought to be chewing on some... What? <laughs> what does that mean? Hi, Jamie. There's only 625 combinations. Just brute force it. <laughs> Well, none of them can match numbers is the thing. So like if I put one, four, nine, that means none of these can have one, four, and nine in them. <clears throat> what if I did? 31. Um, there's so many ones. Uh, Fifty-seven. Forty one. You did say baby carrots were like chewing on metal, but what does that have to do with sixty nine? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, two eight four. One oh three. If the date on this <gasps> paper is correct. Then whoever posted the paper online did so after Mel turned it in, which proves she didn't copy it. Wow. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. It was Jacob! That's done. Jacob, you slimy dog. You no good, rotten old dog. I'm here. How goes it? Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Yeah. Why? Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an it attempt was the to make teacher. you I look knew like it. a plagiarist. So all the headmistress has to do is check the dates and I'm in the clear. How did she oh not gosh, do that Becca, already? Thank you. Thank you. So Why didn't she do that? It? Who tried to frame me? I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. What Izzy's surprise. about to die. Hey, I got something a newbie like you might like to read. Has some interesting information about Waverly. Thanks. You can keep it. I know everything I want to know about this place. Hmm. Anything else going on? <clears throat> no. Maybe I'll pop in again later. Drop in any time. Goodbye. What does it say? Waverly Ravens bring home all-school Odyssey Championship. Our own Waverly Ravens swept the competition to win the coveted all-school Odyssey Championship trophy last Saturday at Oxborough Preparatory. The tournament with topics that run the, the gamut from literature to science is the ultimate in academic competitions with over 100 schools participating this year. This is the first major academic win for Waverly Academy. <clears throat> The Ravens have finished in second place for the past eight years. We knew this was our year to finally break through and take home the trophy, said history teacher and team coach Miss Sarah Donnell. With extra study groups, practice debates, and several mock quiz bowls throughout the fall, the team was prepared to tackle any challenge of this year's competition. 
This year's gold medal team members were seniors Tara Moore, Evelyn Corbellis, and Donna Mingles. And juniors Eleanor Penvalin and Rosemary Ivy. Mingles sounds familiar. Doesn't our thing literally say Mr. Mingles says hi? A dog won it? Wild. That's done. Haven't done that. Okay, what are the things I need a photo of? Rita Hallowell and Usher? Usher goes to this school? Oh, first academic win trophy. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> Easy. Oh, God. Okay, maybe this isn't it. Odyssey Championship. Maybe I find it in the <clears throat> in the thingy? In the case? Ursher's here. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I got that one. What else? Wood inlaid school emblem. Entry arch to Waverly. US map with handcrafted wooden states. Oh, I can't get that yet, I don't think. Mm. Courtyard oak tree. Can I do it at night? Courtyard oak tree. Oh! It's the albino squirrel! Yes. Good enough. Um, if it's the entryway, it's just this, right? I don't want to leave just yet. <laughs> Hello? Reminder for your first day, curfew hours for seniors begin at 11 p.m. You must be in your room by the appointed time. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, is this the logo in wood? I think it is, but I don't know. Wood inlaid school emblem. I think so. It technically isn't wood. <laughs> <clears throat> That's both an answer and the name of an Usher song. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> the trophy? Okay, I don't know. I need to go to bed. Lula, why are you here? Do I just wait? What's up, Rumi? I'll see you in a bit. Later. She's so nice that I feel like it's gonna be her. <laughs> like, she's always so nice that it makes me think that it's just, I'm getting played, you know? I thought you were talking to me and I was like, me? There's a character named Leela and she's not nearly as nice as you are, unfortunately. <laughs> I guess I just hang out here until it turns 11. How you doing today, chat? A nice person is here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> Leela is the, like, <clears throat> competitive sport person. But she's not having a good day. Her boyfriend got stolen. We've been looking for him everywhere. <laughs> Very unproductive. That's fine. Not every day needs to be productive. I think rest is very productive too. I just want to go to sleep. No too much to ask. I fucked, fucked up my right hand's middle finger yesterday and it's in pain. That aside, though, I'm doing good. You gotta flip people off softer. <laughs> when you're giving people the middle finger, you need to, like, relax. Clock? 
Oh, I set an alarm. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Oh, what was that? Everything's all right. Just go back to sleep. Anyone who leaves the room gets five demerits. Paige loves her demerits. She's a big fan. Someone died. For sure. I just woke up! Although I didn't read the rules. That's fine, What's I'll take up, the What's up, I'll let you get back to your paper. Enjoy. <laughs> Who screamed, though? I don't care about the snack shop stuff. How about that? This door's not locked. It's open. Greetings once again. I better get going. Door's always open. You're telling me I don't want to gossip to everyone about the scream that I just heard? What happened? Another scream in the middle of the night in Valcan Hall? Who keeps doing that? And why? <laughs> Love your bestie, Joe Biden. I'm here. I can't talk now. Then why did you let me in? Sorry, I don't want to be disturbed right now. Okay. Why is a good letter? Hey, what's going on? I'll check back with you later. No one wants Hang to talk about there. the scream? It was just another day? Attention, everyone. As of now, the snack shop is open. I really need to read the rules for this, I'm going to be honest. And the next thing I knew, Mr. Harris was calling me up to his desk. Oh my Order God, up. I love when that happens. It lets you get a really, really good whiff of his aftershave. Order's ready. I'm leaving. Where are the rules for this again? Mm. Okay. Uh, following are the instructions for running the Ramsey Hall snack shop from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Upon entering the serving area, announce that the snack shop is open. Um, okay. Students are permitted only one each of the following items, drink, fruit, sandwich, bag of chips, and dessert. Orders cannot be combined. A tray may only contain items for one order. Don't forget to toast the bread or bagel if requested. Students can request any sandwich filling combination of meat, tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese. Fill a sandwich order exactly as indicated on the ticket. <laughs> they wrote an entire dissertation for the snack bar. That's why I didn't read it. I was like, you want me to read all these words to make a little sandwich? <laughs> but obviously I did something wrong. Um, cookies must be baked in the oven before they're served. When an order is ready, press the pickup call button. If you filled the order correctly, a tray will be taken away. Um, a bell sounds and any currently placed student orders are removed when a teacher places an order. Teacher orders must be filled immediately. You may receive a credit or demerit based on your speed. You must fill at least one full round. Oh, one full round of orders. I thought it said one order a day. I did literally one order and was like, that's it. I'm good. <laughs> Failure to do so will result in three demerits. Okay. 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 Attention, fine, fine, everyone. Fine. We As of now, this. the snack shop is open. We can do this, chap. This is easy. This is nothing. I just heard that Ms. Lambert asked Mr. Harris out for coffee. And I just- That bitch! Her down. Again, I'm asking who eats only a Order meat up. sandwich with nothing else. All I said was she should try using brown mascara instead of black, and she totally wigged out. Order's ready. Take your weird sandwich. This person ordered like only lettuce and cheese? What is going on at this school? These kids are deprived. This is embarrassing. Order's ready. Hmm. Oh, this one just got a grilled cheese. Excellent choice. 
Grilled cheeses are delicious. Come get your order. There. All done. Yay! No demerits for me. Whoa. Oh. Wonder what this is to. Hello? Where did that come from? Jesus? Is it for this case? Oh, that's already open. Maybe I should have taken the photo like this. Yeah, that's probably better. Anything else? No. What else was locked? Looks like I need a key. Checked out to El Yadav. Is it this? No. Maybe it's in the library. It's a really old looking key. <laughs> From our 46th president, Joe Biden. What does this go do? Can I go up these stairs? Hmm. Those are Roman numerals. <gasps> Did they just put the whole fucking combination right here? I don't know what it all means. Oh! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. This is nothing. This is easy. M, N, D, C, X, L, I? <gasps> I'm so excited. I would love figuring this stuff out. I had to stop playing this game. It's stressing me out. Is it because the girls are so bitchy? <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Okay, so it's 1K, 1K, And then one. So I'm not gonna use a calculator for this. That would be lame. But also if I get this wrong, that will be even worse. Plus 500, plus 100, plus 50, 10, one. So that's one, six, six, two. So it's 2,661. If I get this wrong, I'm ending the stream right now. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Where did I go wrong? The math is there. I don't understand why it's not working. Okay, M, M, D, C, X, L, I. So M is 1,000, so that's 2,000. D is 500, so that's, that's 2,500. C is 100, so that's 2,600. And then there's 50, 10, and one, which is 61. So how does it not, how is it not that? To translate a number from Roman numerals into a number represented by the Arabic numerals, with which most people are familiar, the symbols are added together with the larger numbers preceding smaller ones. 
e.g. CLV equals 155 or CCC XX1 is 320. I say X and my Xbox is like, hello? The exception to this rule is the use of an I, X, or C directly before a V, L, or M. In this case, instead of being added, the numerals are subtracted. Oh. I see. I see. This is where I went wrong. <laughs> I didn't read. <laughs> um... In this case, instead of being added, the numerals are subtracted. Hence, uh, IV is four, five minus one. Okay, so, okay. <clears throat> the use of an I, X, or C directly before V, L, or M. So it's 41, not 61. At least my second guess was right. <laughs> There's not even anything in here. <laughs> what was the point? There's nothing in here. I looked foolish and didn't get anything in return. This is the worst day of my life. Um, we're all just gonna forget about that, right? But I didn't do math right. Um, is there anything else here I can look at? <laughs> Not her. How's it going? Apparently, someone named Jacob Price tried to make it look like male plagiarism. I got no paper. Literally. You mean Jacob <clears throat> framed her? <laughs> yeah, right. Or maybe the black cat framed her. More likely, Mel did something to make it look like she was framed. Maybe she's trying to frame Jacob. And let's not forget one other thing. Until oh. very, very recently, Jacob was Leela's boyfriend. You want to point fingers? Maybe you should start with my roommate. Why do you hate Leela so much? Thanks for all the advice. See ya. You sound jealous. <clears throat> hmm. Where the heck does this key go? How does it not open this? It looks so old. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm leaving. Oh, God. Why does she slam that door every time? Yeah, Gab, so happy for you. Yay. Hmm. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. Ask Kareen, since she's the on-call library system, she has a key for a special... <gasps> Oh. Help. What's up, <clears throat> Do you know where I can get the key that opens the special collections cabinet in the library? You can get it from me. How bad do you want it? Uh, Why are they all like bad. this? There's a book in the collection I'd really like to look at. Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you the key to the cabinet if you can finish these orthographic views for me. How do I do that? Just figure out which views go with which object. Each object has a front, top, and side view. Those are examples in case you need them. I can do that. Bring them back when you're done. Figure out which views go with which object. Each object has a front, top, and side view. Okay. I've done these a bunch. These are easy. I just got the news. So sorry, Siha. Hope you're okay. That's a lot to deal with. Yeah. Being your friend really is that stressful. <laughs> okay, Anything enough. else? <clears throat> I never should have gotten a fucking a pedal thing. I better get going. <clears throat> Bye. Enjoy. Um, cool. Back to being manipulated into doing all these girls' homework. <clears throat> Oh God. Okay. Um, excuse me. So front, front would look like that. I th oh wait, no, there's more. I think front looks like this. 
<laughs> Just found out you're an ambassador for that purple website where fucking weirdos make content. Praying, praying. <laughs> I mean, you play Fortnite with kids online, so like, I don't know if you have <laughs> much room to be making fun of me. <laughs> Not in a weird way. <laughs> He's very inspirational. He's like a father figure for um, kids on Fortnite. It's very inspirational, I think. <clears throat> okay. Is this? No. I think this is... Wait. Front side. I think that's the side. And then top would look like a T. So it would be this one. Why did you say it like that? I didn't say anything. That's the front. The side is just gonna look like that. And then this is gonna be a U. Or not a U, but one with, it's with sides. <clears throat> is Iraj here? I don't know, maybe uh, celebrating his birthday. He is, yes, Krub is number two's, number two's Forbes Fortnite Twitch stream, yes. <laughs> Iraj just gifted me seven things in Fortnite. You can gift people stuff in Fortnite? What did you get? Oh, this is... This is the front, this is the side, and then the top is this. But they're all sides if you think about it. <clears throat> this is the front. This is the top, and then this is the side. Is you it finished over? those ortho views for me? I think so. Okay, let's see what we've got. Sorry, <gasps> you need to check the front view of this one. <clears throat> Why? Else? I better get going. Do your own Bye. homework. After whatever. These kids for sure would have been involved in that like admission scandal, where they all pretend that they are like rowing experts just to get into Harvard. She didn't say the front of which one. Wait, which one is the front? Oh, I'm getting the fronts and the sides confused. Okay, <clears throat> got it. Okay. So that should be right. You finished those ortho views for me? There you go. Looks great, thanks. Yay. Here's the key to the cabinet. Whatever Please don't give me out, answers, sure Yeti. I like to figure out puzzles They're on too my old own. And fragile to carry around. I will. And leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it later. Anything else? I'd better get going. Bye. Suit yourself. Hmm. <clears throat> so this was for the cabinet with the book. Dish one. A story of four. This is the more book. I have to read all of this? What? Oh, I think this is actually just for the photo. Right? Oh, what is that? I feel like that's going to be important. M D C C C L X E. <clears throat> I think I have to take a photo of this. <gasps> My cat sneezed. That's really cute. Okay. Was that all that was for? <laughs> Nancy Drew thinks I read. Courtyard Oak Tree, Rita Howell and Usher. Oh, well, Usher's not in there, so I don't see Usher anywhere in there. Check. That's done. Mm. What is this key for? I 
have no idea what this is for. <laughs> Do I still have anything else to take photos of? Oak tree, US map with handcrafted. I still have to get into that room. The only thing I think I have left is the US map, and then I guess uh, Usher, but I don't know why Usher would be in this game. I'm here. Maybe later, okay? Why does she let me in if she doesn't want to talk? What's the point? Usher's in every game if you think about it. Usher's spirit is with us always. Oh, I went this way already. <clears throat> yeah? How about that? This door's Greetings not locked. Once again. I'll quit bugging Nobody you. Nobody wants to Drop talk? Time. What's up, Rumi? I better get going. Bye. Hasta whatever. Dan Central, Nancy Drew. He's probably been in another one. If I had to guess, I would say so. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it here t for the day because I'm getting a little stuck. So I think getting stuck is like the perfect time to stop <laughs> for the day. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. It was fun.